If you own the Frankfurt Arsenal rotary tumbler, you'll already know what a pain in the butt it is to get these caps tight enough so that they don't leak during tumbling. And then whenever you're done trying to get them loose, it's extremely difficult. That's where this thing comes in. It is the fart extractor from Slowest Bro Industries. I don't think it could possibly be any simpler. You take your container and you'll notice the lid has like long fins and then short ones. There are two different uh, size grooves. So you just slide it over until the right grooves line up and then it falls right on. And then you've got these tabs that can help you. It makes a huge difference. It makes a huge difference. When you've got it setting up right like this, for me at least, like it's, it's a pretty comfortable, like you can grab it here where there's a little bit of texture where the rollers uh, ride and just kind of pop it with thumb on one side and finger on the other. Like you can get quite a bit of torque, both going on and coming off. So pretty simple, not much to it, right? The price is 20 bucks and I paid $6 and something for shipping. So not, not super cheap, but th this is just an automatic buy. This is such a freaking pain in the butt. And this is such an easy fix for the problem that it's still worth it. You know, even if maybe you're spending 10 more bucks than you'd like, I don't know. It just, you know, 25 bucks seems a little bit expensive. It is extremely light, like extremely light. It is hollow as far as I can tell. So I guess, you know, yeah, the 3D printer prints it hollow. And when I first took it out, I thought, man, that that's kind of sucks. But I think it's actually really, really good because this thing doesn't have enough weight to hurt itself. It's one of the reasons why I wanted to come out here and uh, film outside today. I, let's drop this thing and see what happens. So let's, let's start right at about six feet. So I'm gonna drop it right about head high. So that got the tiniest little scuff on a corner. Yeah, that was a nice good corner hit. Let's try again. Okay, now let's try like 25 feet from the second floor. All right, so it looks like this is the primary spot where it landed. Not bad at all. And yeah, that time, you know, it tumbled a bit. So hit a couple other edges and no significant damage whatsoever. Now that was a dumb and unnecessary test, but I am, I'm just still a little bit gun shy when it comes to 3D printed stuff. Some of it just, you know, it looks and feels like it's gonna fall apart when you sneeze on it. You know, not necessarily this one, other than being light, you know, like it, it looks nice. You know, got their name in there and all that crap, little American flag over here. So like, seems to be well-made. It's just, I'm still just trying to build my confidence in 3D printed products in general. So if you have a fart, which is the Frankfurt Arsenal Rotary Tumbler, I probably should have mentioned that at the beginning, the name of this might not make much sense. Yeah, if you have a fart, you absolutely need one of these. You know, I, th I think back about 10 years ago, when like my grandfather was still shooting, he was in his late 70s, still going to the range some, and I talked him into trying wet tumbling. You know, I'd bring him some brass and show it to him, and. Finally talked him into trying it and he used it just two or three times. That's, yeah, that's why I've got two of them now. That's why I've got the second one there. He just couldn't deal with the caps. He just couldn't deal with the caps. He had arthritis and they're a pain in the butt. Now, another thing you can do to fight this, just so you know, like uh, the rubber O-ring, it being dry is, is the source of most of the problems, I think. So if you oil this up or put some soap on it or something, whenever you're loading your tumbler, it does definitely make the caps easier to get on and off. But I don't always remember, and even still, they can sometimes cause you some grief, even when you do your best to prevent it. All right, so that's it. Buy one of these. It's a pretty cool idea. And while you're at it, if you haven't already, get one of these things. Yeah, this is the Frankfurt Arsenal uh, wet dry media separator. That's got this round thing that you dump your brass and your pins into, and you fill this full of water. It all closes up and then you just rotate the handle. It separates everything so easy. You know, so you're rinsing your brass with the water that's in there at the same time you're separating all of your pins or your media. I usually uh, end up doing that once to, to drop all the media. Then I'll dump the water, put clean in it, and then do one more rinse with fresh water and then it's into my dehydrator to dry off usually. If I'm not in a hurry, sometimes I'll let them air dry. But I'm usually in a hurry. So that's it, folks. Get yourself a fart extractor. See you next time.